Hey everyone, Andrew with Private Investigator Advice. Uh, talking to, to you about surveillance tips today. I wanted to go over some general guidelines for um, for maybe new, some of you that are new in surveillance and are just looking for some general tips and, and maybe didn't have a mentor or, or someone to train you. Um, first, we're gonna talk about um, surveillance position in a neighborhood. And listen, every, every position is going to be different. Every neighborhood is going to be different. Some are going to be more uh, neighborhood watchy kind of neighborhoods. And some are going to be everybody goes to work and nobody's around. But um, it's going to be up to you to determine what kind of neighborhood you're in. Uh, you're just going to end up analyzing this. Over, over time, you're going to learn how to do this very quickly. And, uh, and most of the time, you're going to be right about your, uh, how you analyze a neighborhood. So in the general rule I go by is you want to stay about five houses away. And one of the reasons why you want to stay at least five houses away is if you're approached by another neighbor, you don't want the person you're watching to see any confrontation go down from another neighbor. Like, why are you parked in front of my house? Or, um, um, or a police officer that comes to your car because there's a concerned neighbor. You don't want the person you're watching to see that go down. Um, you know, that's the last person you want to see anything happen is the person you're watching and and hopefully uh, any commotion in the neighborhood because you're you know you're in the neighborhood doesn't make it back to that person um, so five houses away that's a good rule of thumb and another reason for that is is when when the person you're watching comes out you don't want them to come out in their front yard and look around and see a car that doesn't belong because typically most people at least I do when I go outside I pretty much know what vehicles belong in my neighborhood and anything new I'm gonna pay, pay a little more special attention to it uh, so you also want to make sure you position yourself in a in a manner that's discreet. Um, you know, every neighborhood's different, but you don't want to be that lone vehicle that just doesn't belong. You're parked on the side of the road in a, in a manner that is suspicious. Try to blend in, and, and unfortunately, that when you do that, it's going to make you a little uncomfortable sometimes. Um, you're going to have to park in front of a house w when you probably don't really want to. Um, and a, a great trick to um, kind of confuse neighbors is by parking in between homes and you know some every, every neighbor is different some neighborhoods where you know you can park in between two houses and each neighbor thinks your car is related to their neighbor so you know someone's visiting them or something and if you try this you'll you just lock up you know tint up your make sure your windows are covered and sit in between two residents and see how the neighbors react to you typically they're gonna look at you and really not think too much of it they're gonna think you know you're there for a neighbor um, thirdly, uh, just always put yourself in the, you know, the shoes of the neighborhood, or if you were a neighbor in that area, how would they think of your car being there? Um, especially with tinted windows and, uh, window coverings, you want to be, you want to blend in as much as possible. That's just going to make your life easier. Um, it's going to make, uh, you know, to where you don't have to have a confrontation every time you go to a neighborhood because um, someone's concerned about you being there. Um, and I already talked about kind of being parked far enough away to where, you know, anybody approaches you, especially police officers, they want to know why you're there, they want to see your identification. You're going to be back far enough to where um, the person you're watching doesn't know. Um, so that's it for now. Um, that's stationary surveillance. Those are a few of my tips that have helped me do very well over the years. Um, and it's going to save you a lot of heartache if you follow some of those rules, and, and you'll see them over the years, so how it'll help you. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.